Today, we're going to discuss about the mean and variance of discrete random variable. The mean, variance, and standard deviation for a probability distribution are calculated differently from the mean variance and standard deviation for samples. So if you still remember our lessons about the measures of central tendency, so which are the mean, the median, and the mode, and the measures of variability, so which, which are the variance and standard deviation. So they are different in terms of formula. Okay po, so iba yung formula natin doon at iba yung formula natin ngayon under sa discrete random variable. So these sections will enlighten us on how we are going to measure and new measures called the expectations are computed for probability distributions. So the mean, the variance, and standard deviations are the expectations that we computed for the probability distributions. So the first one is we have the mean. So let me change the color first of my pen. Okay. So here, the first one is the mean. Okay. Hindi masyado kita. So palitan natin. Let's use dark. Yan. So the first one is mean. So the mean of a random variable with discrete probability distribution is symbols by this symbol by this mu so this is mu a greek uh, word or greek uh, symbols so for us to get the mean we are going to get the product of the outcome and its corresponding probability after we get all the product of the outcome and its corresponding probability we are going to add them together and that is a mean Okay, for example, x sub 1, x sub 2, to x sub n, that is our outcome. And this one is their corresponding probability. So, we're going to multiply them together, then add them all. Okay po, so that is the mean. For the variance naman class is, the variance of a random variable with discrete probabilities look like this. Okay, so this is our symbol for the variance. Okay po, so squared. Uh, we are going to get the sum of the product of the outcome and its corresponding probability. But the difference is, si outcome dito class is ini squared na natin. Then after all, we get the sum of the product of the squared of the outcome and its corresponding probability, we are going to subtract it to our mu or to our mean. So we are going to square the mean first, then we are going to subtract it. Okay po, dun sa nakuha nating sum. Okay, so for our standard division, just simple as like this class, this is our symbol for standard division. The difference is between the variance and standard division is that si variance may squared, si standard division wala. And for us to get the standard division, we are just going to square root the variance. So kung ano yung makuha natin, value ni variance, is square lang natin. And take note of this. This is a domino effect. Kapag sa simula pa lang, sa mean pa lang, nagkamali ka na, it will affect your variance and it will affect your standard deviation. So please, be, be careful when solving. Dun pa lang sa una, sa first step, which is, which are, which is the mean. Kapag mali kayo ng mean, mamamali kayo sa, sa variance at mamamali kayo sa standard deviation. Okay po? So, yung class, so standard deviation, ini square lang natin si variance. Next one is expected value. So, when we say ex expected value, this is a theoretical average. Okay po, as you can see here, class, it is the same with the formula for our mean. Okay po, kaya lang the difference is, this expected value is theoretical average of the variable. And our symbol for expected value is E of x where our x is a random variable. So, depende kung anong random variable yung hinahanap natin. It could be tossing of coin, cards of decks, uh, marbles, jars, etc. Okay po? So, later on, lahat yan i-apply natin. Okay? The first one is this. First problem. We have five balls numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are placed in a box. So, sabi dyan, meron daw tayong box at sa box na yun, meron tayong limang bola. Okay po? At bawat bola ay may number na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sabi dyan, 1 is selected 
its number is noted. Ninonote nila yung mga nabubunot nilang number. And it is replaced. Ibig sabihin, pag binunot ko si 2, binabalik si 2. So, meaning, pag with replace, meaning it is in the pendant. Okay po? Event. If this experiment is repeated many times, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the numbers on the balls. So, as you can see, class, on our uh, probability distribution table, our x is the number of number on the ball, on each ball, and its uh, p of x is the probability of the number on each ball. So, as you can see, class, so 1, so 2, 3, 4, and 5, all of them, the probability of getting them is 1 over 5. Why? Kasi nga, binabalik natin sila. Pag nakuha si 1, ninonote lang natin na nakuha siya, pero binabalik natin siya. So, meaning, yung favorable outcome at yung ating total number of outcome, it will not change. Kasi nga, independent. Okay? So, let's get the mean. So, first, we are going to get our outcome, which is C1. Imamultiply natin sa corresponding probability. Ganon din C2. Okay. So, 1 times 1 is 1 over 5 is 1 over 5. Plus, 2 times 1 is 2 over 5 plus 3 times 1 is 3 over 5 plus 4 times 1 is 4 over 5 plus 5 times 1 is 5 over 5 then they are similar fraction just add the numerator 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5 is 15 over 5 then let's simplify this the answer is 3 so, therefore, our mu is 3. Our mean is 3. Okay? Let me change the color of my pen. Okay, next one is variance. So, the difference between mean and variance, dito si variance class, si outcome naka-squared. Bago natin siya i-multiply sa, sa, sa corresponding probability. At pag nakuha na natin yung sum nila, Ayan. Tsaka natin siya i-minus uh, sa ating nakuhang mean. Okay. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, domino effect. Pag mali ang mean nyo, mamamali na tayong lahat. Okay. Let's solve. 1 squared times 1 over 5 plus 2 squared times 1 over 5 plus 3 squared times 1 over 5 plus 4 squared times 1 over 5 extend ko lang class dito plus 5 squared 1 over 5 okay then let's simplify 1 squared is 1 times 1 is 1 over 5 is 1 over 5 pa din po 2 squared is 4 times 1 is 4 over 5 plus 3 squared is 9 times 1 is 9 over 5 plus 16 kasi nga 4 squared is 16 times 1 is 16 over 5 plus 5 squared is 25 times 1 is 25 over 5 then let's simplify so ito muna nakalimutan natin si mu our mu is 3 minus 3 squared okay a similar fraction, add them together, add them the numerator. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 9 is 14 plus 16 plus 25. The answer is 55. So, 55 over 5 minus 9 is equal to 55. 5 divided by 55 is 11 minus 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. So, therefore, our var variance is 2. 
Okay po. Then, let's get the standard deviation. Okay po. Our symbol is like this. Kung ano na kuha natin variance, si square lang natin siya. So, our variance is 2. So, square lang natin si 2. Input that on your calculator. Then, get the decimal value. Our standard deviation is 1.41. Okay po. Ano ulit yung use or sinusignify ni, stand, ni variance at ni standard deviation? Okay po. Ang purpose nila is for us to determine how far a set of numbers spread out from the uh, given average value. Okay po. So, sa third week na lesson natin sa normal distribution, mas mabivisualize nyo kung anong purpose ni variance and standard deviation. So, from, na, as of, from now, basta alam nyo na they are about the spread of the data. Gaano ba sila kalapit at kalayo doon sa given na mean? Okay po. Next, problem. 500 raffle tickets are sold at 25 pesos each. So, meron dang 500 na raffle tickets at nabebenta mo yun ng 25 pesos kada isa. For three prices, so ito ay palaro kasi nga raffle ticket. Sa, pwede ka daw manalo ng 4,000. Pwede ka daw manalo ng 2,500 or 1,000 pesos. So, after each price drawing or bawa na sa first price may nakakuha na binabalik pa rin daw yung ticket the winner ticket is then returned to the collection of ticket nire-return so ibig sabihin they are independent it will not affect okay po so what is the expected value if a person purchases 4 tickets so kung 4 tickets yung binili niya at 25 pesos yung isa ang kanyang nilabas na pera ay 100 pesos okay po Sa, sa price na 4,000, i-minus natin yung 100, kaya natin nakuha si 3,900. Kasi nga, logically, kung ikaw yung mananalo ng price na 4,000 at nag-invest ka ng 100, alam mo na ang kinita mo lang talaga dun is 3,900. Or yung napananunan mo talaga is 3,900. So, ganun din sa 2,500. Kasi nga, lahat may chance siya eh. May chance siyang manalo siya kahit sa ang prices. Kasi nga, nire-return yung ticket once na nabunot. So, ganoon din kapag 1,900, so, sobra ng zero class. So, 900 yung kanyang mapapanalunan. Nilagay natin yung negative 100 kasi nga, ito yung kanyang expense. Expenses. Yung kanyang ginastos. Ngayon, dahil binabalik, binabalik yung ticket na re-return, so, ibig sabihin, kung 4 tickets yan, 4 out of 500 yung probability. Bakit 500? Kasi 500 raffle tickets in total yung meron ka. Or meron yung pinipurchase ng mga tao hanggang 500 na yung capacity. Ah, bakit 4? Kasi 4 lang naman yung binili mo. Kung anim yung binili mo, it is 6 over 5. Okay po? Sa first price, may 4 out of 500 ka. Sa 2,5, ganun din. Sa last, sa 1,000, ganun din. Kasi nga, binabalik yung ticket. Anong purpose nito Ito yung chance na at yan yung probability na matalo ka. Kasi nga, di ba, ang ticket natin is 500. So, mananalo ka lang or assure, assure ka ng 100% na mananalo ka ng lahat ng prices na yan if you purchase all the ticket. And you are not going to do that. Okay, okay po. So, 496 kasi apat na ticket lang naman yung kanyang binili. So, minus lang natin. So, yung probability na matalo siya is 496 over 500. Okay po. Okay, let's get the expected value. So, yung multiply lang naman natin yung uh, outcome at yung corresponding probability niya. Add them all together. Okay, nakulang tayo ng 0, 0. Okay. Then, uh, solve na natin. So, 31.20 if you get the product of this. 
plus 19.20 this one plus 7.20 for this and minus 99.2 then perform the operation you will get 41.60 minus negative so therefore we can say the expected value is negative 41.60 okay po so anong ibig sabihin yan kung yung 41.60 dinibide natin siya sa apat kasi apat na ticket yung binili mo so papatak na papatak na 10.4 pesos yung, uh, yung raw price raw price nung ticket So, ibig sabihin, class, ang laki ng kikitain yung nagfarapol. Kasi, biruin mo, ah, 25 pesos yung isang ticket. At alam mo, na binibenta, na binibenta niya. At alam mo na 10.4 pesos lang pala yon sa raw, raw, uh, raw price. So, kung 25 minus 10.4, okay, ang kinita niya is 14 14.6 pesos. Ito yung kinikita niya kada isang ticket. So, biruin nyo, 14.6 times 500 kasi 500 na ticket. So, times 500. So, ang kanyang kikita ini 7,300 pesos. Okay po. Sa ticket na ro Okay, sa sa 7,300 uh, 7,300 yung kikitain niya. Okay po. Sa raw, sa raw, uh, sa raw na ano na raw price. E paano kung dun sa 25 na? 25 times 500. 12,500. So 12,500 minus 7,300. So, meron siyang kita na 520. Doon sa kanyang parapol na 5,200 pala. Correction. Doon sa kanyang parapol. Okay po. Kaya nga, di ba sabi nila, pag tumataya ka daw ng loto, talagang pikit mata ka dyan. Kasi mata, ah, mababa lang yung probability mo na manalo ka. Kaya nga, ang idea nila is talagang ano ka, lucky ka na mabunod ka kapag may mga parapol talagang para sa iyo 'yun kasi 'di ba ma 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 maliit yung probability na manalo ka sa dami or sa laki ng kailangan kagaya sa loto walang capacity yung population niyan so talagang walang capacity na o oh, ba hanggang 100 lang pwedeng tumaya walang ganoon unlimited yung pagtaya so maliit yung probability talagang lucky ka kapag ikaw yung nabunod okay po so that's the end of our lesson so i hope you learned something from me today.